Hi, uh, today we're going to solve this um, triangle questions together. One of the students actually asked me about this question and that student is like only like year 7 is like from 1 <laughs> if in Malaysia context. So when I saw the question like this, I just replied to the student like, okay, I should be able to give you the answer in 5 minutes because yeah, from 1 math, right? It or year seven math, it couldn't be like so difficult, right? So so when I try this question, I eventually spent more than one hour to reply that student. And yeah, I also went to Google like how to solve this kind of question. So yeah, so I just cannot accept like, okay, why the year seven math can be like so difficult? So yeah, so after I Google a bit and yeah, definitely at the end I got the answer. So yeah, I can't wait to share uh, all my findings with you. So yeah, let's begin about this question. So this question, you have some information. ABC is a isosceles triangle. So we know that ABC is a isosceles triangle. Definitely the length of AB will same with the length of AC. And then we have another information, which is the AD will same with the BC. AD will same with length with the BC. And then they ask us to find the angle of ADB. ADB. So we want to find this uh, angle here. So in order to solve these uh, questions, right? we actually need to do some extra step. Okay, what do I mean by extra step here is like, I need to draw another triangle and then I will I will need to compare both of the triangle in order to get this angle. Maybe you, you, you do not understand what I'm talking about. So so it's something like uh, when we solve the uh, circle theorem, so you just imagine if if, if today I, I want to solve a circle theorem questions, um, let me draw a nice circle here for you. Let's say I, if I want to solve a circle theorem questions, um, no, no, normally if you have the question something like this, uh, let's say this is a center point. We have some something like this. And then uh, let's say we have this angle 80 and then they ask us to find the angle theta here. So this is center O. So normally for the question like this, right, I will always add like two line by myself. And then I know this is the double angle, right? So if here is 80 degrees, so here will be 40 degrees. And then the quadrilateral inside the, the circle, we know the opposite length will be 180. Then I can easily know, oh, this angle will be 140 degrees. Yeah, so this is what I mean by the extra step. So yeah, in geometry, we will do something like this. Maybe we will, we'll do the extra step and then mean we will just add a few more lines in order to get the final angle. But because uh, this triangle itself do not have the circle uh, for it, so I would never think about this method in this kind of question. So this is the reason why I find this question is quite challenging because uh, like the normal people like me, I, I wouldn't think about that. But after this, definitely next time if I see some similar question like this, definitely I will add a few more lines myself to try it out. Okay, so what I want to do right now is because they tell me, I think the very important information is this one. AD equals to BC. How, how am I going to use the AD equals to the BC here? So in order to use it, right? Okay, so I figure out some things like, okay, maybe I will need to draw an equilateral triangle. So if I want to draw an equilateral triangle, right? So yeah, I use the length of AB. I want my equi equilateral triangle, three sides also same with the AB. So I just roughly lah. Right, so I will have uh, maybe this one is the same length with AB. And then I have one more line will be same length of AB. Okay, we just imagine this is equilateral triangle. That's mean three of the length will be the same. So inside the equilateral triangle, we know each of the angle will be 60 degree. So here which is 20, here will be 40 degree. And then here will be another 60 degree. Here will be another 60 degree. Right for for the isosceles triangle at the back uh, uh, at the very beginning here, uh, is this is twenty degree right? We know this angle will be eighty right because what? Because um, any isosceles triangle right, as long as uh we have two line will be same length, then these two angle will be the same right? Then I can just use hundred eighty minus twenty divided by two to get eighty. So therefore, I know the whole angle here will be eight will be another eighty degree also right? So therefore, this angle itself will be 80 minus 60, 20 degree. All right, then I will 
just add one more line here. I will just add one more line here. Okay, why I want to add this line? Because after I add this line, right, I find out something interesting here. So I will find out this length, uh, not this length, this triangle. Okay, you see this triangle will be exactly the same with this triangle. Yeah, even though it doesn't look alike, but in geometry properties, they are the same thing. Okay, why why do I say, say so? It's like, okay, you focus as this 20 degree here. This this triangle, right? This 20 degree is called angle. Uh, is covered by both sides, right? It's between the both sides. You learn about side angle side, right? So what we want to do right now is side angle side. If both triangle also have the same side angle side, then both are the same triangle. Okay, you see this angle is 20 degree. So the angle will be 20 degree here. So this side length here, AB, uh, let's call it a length. I just give you a random name. The length, uh, the length will be X. So the side will be X. And then we have uh, one more side AD here. Let's say I call AD as a Y. So this one will be Y. So it will be X 20 Y. So side angle side. So you focus at this triangle over here. The 20 degree is over here. This middle is a 20 degree. And then this length, can we call it X? Because it's the same with this length, isn't it? So this 20 degree is between the X and the Y. Do you see this length y? This is another length y, isn't it? So therefore, if I can find out the whole angle here, I can know what is my theta here. It's not hard for me to find this angle. Okay, this, this angle, because I see another isosceles triangle here, because this length and this length definitely is the same length, isn't it? So if this is 40 degree, then the angle here will be 70 degree. Because here will be another 70, like this one will be 10 degree. Like. Alright, so therefore, what I know is this angle will same with the whole angle here. So therefore, angle ADB will be 150 degree. Yeah, so I I think this question, the challenging part is like you need to you need to draw the extra triangle. By yourself after that you kind of need to add few more line in order to get the exactly same triangle so after you get the exactly same triangle already you you can actually use the comparing methods to actually get this angle because if you doesn't draw the extra triangle you just solve this triangle itself it's almost impossible to actually get this angle yeah so so what we learn from this kind of question is next time if you see some similar question like this may maybe uh what you can do is you need to program your brain it's like okay i have one more method to solve this kind of question which is i can add another few more extra line by myself to see whether i can form two congruent triangle or not yeah sometimes you you might be able to draw another similar triangle. Then you can use a similar triangle properties to actually get the answer as well. So yeah, so I hope this video actually will give you some insight. So next time you see some question like this, you will be able to solve it. All right, so yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Anyways, thanks for watching.